Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Mikhail Tal and Konstantin Kleman. This game was played in Moscow in 1957. This was the game from Soviet Union Championship that was played in 1957. Mikhail Tal had wide pieces and he started with e4. Konstantin Kleman played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, defending d6, bishop to g5, bishop to d7, queen to d2, Richter rouse a variation of the Sicilian defense, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, and the Kleman played queen to a5, attacking the bishop on g5. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. Now, black has a bishop pair. But is black going to castle? White to move. Tal castle at queenside. Rook to c8, pressure is on the knight on c3, f4, rook to g8, pressure is on the pawn on g2, g3, e6, bishop to h3, and Kleman played queen to c5, Kleman would be happy to exchange queens and draw, for example if queen takes queen, rook takes and maybe black is even better. Black has a bishop pair. Okay, in the game we have a queen to d2. Tal is not interested in a draw. b5. Rook from h to e1. b4. Attacking the knight. Knight to e2. And Kleman played queen to c4. Forking the pawn on e4 and the one on a2. Very interesting, isn't it? It appears that Kleman is doing well. Which pawn to save? Is Tal in trouble? How would you continue if you had white pieces? For Mikhail Tal it was easy. King to b1. Queen takes pawn on e4. Black is better materially. But this is the kind of position that suit Tal a lot. We have a knight to d4. Discovered attack on the queen. And white rook is now lined up with black king. Queen to b7. Queen to d3. Improving the position of the queen and attacking the pawn on h7. How should black defend? Kalman played bishop to e7. White to move. Would you capture the pawn on h7 with queen? Or would you rather play like Tal? Hmm? Please pause the video and try to guess the move that Tal played. You will be surprised with his choice of moves. Are you ready? Did you pause the video? Don't say afterwards how come I couldn't see such an obvious move. Ready? Queen takes a pawn on h7. Hmm. Sometimes Tal plays ordinary moves too. Rook to f8. Bishop to g4. Sometimes you just have to make small steps to improve your position. But there is a purpose of this move. Kamal played queen to c7. What was the purpose of bishop to g4? If, for example, king to d8, then bishop to h5, attacking the pawn, bishop to e8, and what did Tal prepare for this position? 
Mikal Tal prepared a firework, starting with this move. Then pawn takes rook, knight takes on e6, check, king to d7, knight takes on f8, check, bishop is pinned, and after king to c7, queen takes bishop, winning for white. So we have in this position queen to c7, king to a1, important move. But now f5, white move. Can you find the happiest square for the bishop? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the happiest square. Tal found the happy square, sacrificed the bishop to open the file, the e file. Pawn takes bishop. What now? How would you continue? Now, Mikal Tal sacrificed the exchange. This is check. King takes rook. Rook to e1 check. King to d8. Queen to h4 check. f6. Queen attacks the rook. Very interesting position black to move. How should the black continue? Konstantin Klaman found a very, very clever move. Queen to a5. How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Did Klaman with this move forgot about his rook? Hmm? Your move. Would you take the rook? Or not. Looks like an obvious move. Well, Tal played knight to b3. This is the winning move. Ruined the fun for Klaman. This is what Klaman was hoping for. Queen takes rook check. And Tal would fall in a trap. Then king to c7, queen is under attack, queen takes on f6, and now it is black to play a winning move. The winning move is b3, threatening checkmate. If knight takes on b3, queen takes rook now, and after knight to c1, queen takes knight, checkmate, very clever. What else? Well. White can try knight to b5 check, but then after king to b7, white still has a big problem. For example, the best move, knight to c3, runs into this one. Rook takes on c3, pawn takes, rook takes on g3 now, discovered attack on the rook, on e1, and after rook to b1, rook to d3, and black would be winning. Interesting, isn't it? What about rook takes? Is it good? It's not good because of this one, so the other one was better. Rook to d3 is a better move. Okay, but Tal played the best move, that is knight to b3. Queen to d5, and now queen takes rook, check, king to c7, queen takes pawn on f6, rook to e8, rook to c1, bishop to a4, and Tal played queen to d4. Now it is Tal who wants to exchange queens. Queen to b7, of course, if queen takes queen, then knight takes on d4, and with two extra pawns, Tal should be easily winning the game, even blindfolded, and even with no lights in the room. Just kidding. Okay, so, in, in this position, we have queen to b7. Rook to d1. Rook to e6, defending the pawn. It is white move. 
white. Play the movie in black design. The move is queen to c4 check. Forking the king and the rook. Black resigned. If king to d7 defending the rook, then comes the family fork. Knight to c5, forking the king, the rook and the queen. What a fantastic game. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.